So for today, we're going to be looking at the third week of the seasonal challenges and whatever versus offering. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. I do apologize. That I haven't been making videos. It's just that my pinched nerve in my neck has been acting up and it has not let me be on the computer more than like maybe an hour until I have to go lay down because it really hurts. So let's get this video out as fast as I can. Uh, Antiquarian three return the third relic to the helm. Also defeat Cabal. Uh, also defeat cabal defeating them with finishers will award more progress against okay, this not that hard just do the weekly thing that's usually it's usually expeditions or the other thing i don't remember off the top of my head uh sextant navigation one click map fragments and treasure coordinates during season of plunder earn map fragments in catch crash and treasure coordinates through ritual activities so this one's not hard the only reason I have it completed is because I farmed for the armor, the specifically the the uh, season of the plunder armor. So that's why I got it done early and I might I might even do, have done the sixth navigation too as well, because again, I did a lot of that just to get the last piece. Canonide uh, defeat targets with uh, machine guns, defeating combatants in expeditions and defeating guardians will award more progress not hard you could probably uh combine it with this one just make sure that you're finishing cabal while killing people with machine guns uh catch crasher one and catch crash destroy shield generators in the maintenance bay hack terminals in the treasure horde and destroy st storage tanks in ether storage so this is not hard uh this is just play catch crash and make sure you're doing all of these Make sure you complete these two in the minimum because you do get the rep repute, which is uh, the upgrade material you need for the upgrade stuff. Nessus activities on Nessus earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Not hard. I would actually tell you to complete the uh, bounties first, then go to the lost sectors. Just complete those. Obviously, com um, complete the bounties as fast as you can because you get a lot of, a lot of progress towards that uh reach power level 1570 by earning powerful rewards and prime engrams um this one i should have done uh this one's super easy too because if you're if you were if you've been playing since like minimum like last season or even witch queen then you should have gone to 1570 because getting light levels like a joke in this game uh, primeval in entourage defeat taken in combat ugh. defeat taken in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants uh this one you do have to play gambit so i don't understand if people are not really into this one uh calibrate mid-range weapons hand cannons glaives auto rifles fusion rifles machine guns on nessus bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants you could probably com combine this one with nessus activity or literally anything because this one does, is not uh location based Complete Crucible matches, earn bonus progress in Iron Banner and for victories. So this one's not hard. Iron Banner is going on right now. Definitely going to go to the tower just to see what he has to offer. But yeah, make sure you complete this. And Ultimate Champion, defeat champions in any Nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. Earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers. Not hard at all. Nightfall strikes are pretty much a joke, especially on lower tiers. So you could go for the higher tiers, but... Just complete the lower ones over and over again, and then you should be done with this one. As you guys can see, I have not done much because, again, my my pinched nerve in my neck has been really killing me, like to the point where it's actually hurting right now. But let's actually go see uh, Eververse, and then we'll call it a day. So, Cursed Azur, this one is from this season, actually, and it's pretty good. Uh, I like the, the effect it has on the cloak. It's pretty cool. We wait. Okay, that's a blue. I thought it had an orange glow to it. Uh, we have the ossified entrance, which is from last season, I would say. Maybe. Which is fine. Uh, no, that's not last season. This is season of the Chosen, I think. Uh, Exospar. I can't even say that name. It's from last season, though. Uh, which is cool, I guess. We have Photovolt. I'm not going to say that. It's this right here, which is a satellite ghost. And for the stuff at the bottom, we have the snake bite ornament, which looks pretty cool. Too bad it's just an ornament or a shader change. Uh, because even though it does have a texture, shaders do have textures to them as well. So that's why I say it's only a shader change. 
We have Mantle of Remembrance for the Hunters, which is interesting. For Titans, we have the 14th Amnesius, which is a really good ornament, uh, just because it, it, it looks like you've been through shit. And for the Warlocks, you have the Want of Lies and Wishes, which is the Riven inspired helmet which I'm not the biggest fan of this one, to be quite honest. It just kind of looks gross. And obviously the bone doesn't change color. And for the other stuff, we have Synchrotron Advancer, which is a really good ship, but I wouldn't waste my Bright Dust on ships, sparrows, or ghosts unless I really, really like them. And before anyone says anything, I actually got this from an Enneagram last week. We have Buzz Off, which is fine. We have another, which is also Fine. For shaders, this is where it gets cool. We have Reefer Galia. This is from Season of the Lost. Definitely pick this shader up. It's a really good purple. And it also has gold in it. it. I know you can't see it right now, but it's an off color. It's right here. It's a really good gold if you can pick pieces that have off color. But yeah, it's a really good purple. I really do recommend this shader. Laguna Cruiser, which is a really weird color. I'm definitely not recommending this one. Although, I mean... It's one of those things like if you don't have it, you might as well pick it up. If you obviously if you can afford it or if you even think you like it. Coastal Suede, which is a really cool color combination. I just don't know if I'll ever use it, but it is from Season of the Menagerie, which is an old ass season. So I would just pick it up just in case. And it's an old, old shader. So uh, Flavido Core, an even older <laughs> uh an even older shader from C or not even season. This is from Forsaken. So I would probably ignore this just because I'm not a fan of green and yellow, but I'd pick it up just in case because I'm that paranoid that, oh, maybe I'll need this shader one day, even though I never will. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you guys going to be picking up? Uh, Zav or not Zavala, what's his face? Saladin is here. We have Iron Banner this week, so I'm definitely going to go there and check out what he has to offer. But yeah, if you guys want to follow me on my social media, all links are in the description below. Thank you for everything. I do apologize I haven't been keeping up with the videos, considering I actually do have all of the armor from the Catch Crash, the Catch Keller stuff. I already have it all. Uh, I already have it edited. I just haven't done the voiceover because, again, my pinch nerve is just fucking killing me to the point where I can't even stay on my desk for more than like maybe maybe an hour pushing it, maybe two hours. And then after that, I get squirmy and then I have to lay down. So uh, I just hope that you guys are patient with me until this heals, because after that, we're going to go hard. Uh, but yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.